the champion's position so they can write themselves a very big check. And they're going to do it on the only show where all you need to win is your opinion. It's Majority, Majority Rules. Hi, everybody. I'm Mark Summers. And I'm Marcel Neville. These very outspoken people were chosen to play our game because They've shown us that they have strong opinions and the ability to express them. So for every question, we're going to get two opinions. Then we'll have a vote, and the person who gets more votes will make it to the stage for round two, and one lucky player will have a chance to win almost $20,000. $20, and someone who knows about that is the player at the champion's position right now, Mr. Scott Rose, who is waiting for three challengers to play against. And he's standing there with about $18,000 from yesterday in his yes, pocket. Yes, he is. is all up ahead. He's a rich man. Players right now getting ready to hit those jump in buttons. Here's the first question. What actress, if you blew in her ear, would be most likely to say, gee, thanks for the refill? <laughs> first flashing light, Adam. How are you doing, Adam? Good. I would say Anna Nicole Smith. She is the emptiest woman alive. There's nothing there. <laughs> Thank you, Adam, for that answer. <laughs> All right. Is there somebody who feels they have a better answer? And that person right would be right here. Oh, good. Hello there. Hi, Matt. You almost don't have to move. He's so tall. Who, uh, who is that person that would say thanks for the refill? Uh, I would definitely have to be Demi Moore, because how smart could you be to take a role like striptease? Ah, okay, Matt. Very good. Okay, is it going to be Adam's answer of Anna Nicole Smith? Or is it Matt and Demi Moore? Let's vote right now. 76% agree with... Anna Nicole Smith and Adam! Adam. $500 Adam. up there on that stage. You're definitely in round two. Congratulations. Okay. And now for our next question. What game would put life in any party? Okay, Alan, you were the first to blink over here. Twister. It's especially when the people are all switching around, putting their hands here and the feet there, and they all get tumbled into each other. It's a great game. All yeah. right, Alan, thank you for the answer. Can you think of another game? What would be a better answer to put life in any party? And it's right down over here. Hi there. Is it Tari? It's Terry. Terry. Okay, Terry? I'd say charades because it makes everyone look like a fool, but it brings life to the party anyway. Sounds like a good idea as well. All right. Is it going to be Alan's answer of Twister? Or is it Terry and charades? Vote round. 52% pretty close. Who is it going to be going to the stage? It is... Twister! $500 for you, sir. All right. Here is the question that will determine that fourth and final position on that stage. When they pass a law saying you can do only one thing to get ready for bed, what will you choose as the most important activity? Right over here, it's Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Oh, 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 Daniel, hold on. First, I must put the microphone in your mouth, first of all. This man almost wiped me out when he shot his hand up there. So what is that thing we're looking for? I would say the best thing you can do is brush your teeth and floss, because otherwise the cavities build up, and that's what happens at the end of the night. Brush your teeth and floss. Okay, thank you, Daniel. <laughs> all right, is there anyone else in the audience who thinks he or she has a better answer? Flashing light is right here. Okay. Is it Lisa? I would say change into your pajamas because I don't really want to go to bed with my clothes on. Uh -huh. All right, Lisa, thank you. All right, Mark, what's it going to be? Well, it could be Daniel and brushing your teeth. Or is it Lisa in changing into your PJs? Audience, please vote right now. 57% of you did say brush your, brush your teeth. teeth. Let's go. Thank you, Arthel. We now have four players, each holding $500. From now on, each correct answer will add $100. You'll have to jump in to get that answer. Incorrect, $100 goes away. And we know about those challenges when the money flies all over the stage. Put those hands on the buttons. Let's get started. We asked, which actor has gotten to the point where he seems to be imitating himself? Did more people answer Robert De Niro in The Fan or Kurt Russell in Escape from L.A.? First in this time is Adam. What do you think the majority said? Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro, anybody want to challenge? Yeah, looks like Daniel. 
<laughs> Kurt Russell. Kurt uh, Russell escaped from L.A. All right, 80% pick De Niro over Russell. Daniel, $100 goes back over there to Adam. Sometimes it pays right. the challenge and sometimes it doesn't. Our survey asked, which is more difficult to set? Did the majority say personal boundaries or the clock on your VCR? <laughs> Scott. The clock on your VCR. Anybody want a challenge? All right, Daniel. Personal boundaries. 57% said personal boundaries. Scott, $100 goes over there to Daniel. All right, all right. Well, $600 up there for Adam and Alan and Daniel. You have $500. Scott, $400 for you. Which two of these four players will face off for a chance to win almost $20,000? We're going to find out when Majority Rules continue. Stay tuned. I can't wait myself. <laughs> We've seen our four contestants discuss the opinions of others. Finding out about them now is what we do. Scott, $18,000 winner from yesterday. Returning, you uh, work with computers, and uh, what exactly do you do with these computers? Uh, I program databases for businesses. Sounds like an exciting job it's and exciting. the wave of the future. <laughs> exactly. Now, Daniel, you make this little noise when we came back from commercial. Make that noise for me now. <laughs> I see. And wh what is it that you do for a living, sir? I'm a retired hairdresser. I play the stock market, and I'm looking for a wife. I see, Daniel. Yeah. Now, okay, we're going to move over to Adam. Tell us about your life, Adam. Well, I'm a home inspector. I have a beautiful wife and daughter, and then I'm an antique collector. Cars, radios, clocks, things like that. Sounds cool. And then we have Alan back there, and uh, what's exciting in your life, sir? Well, both of my sons uh, started big uh, bench, uh, milestones in their schooling. My older son started high school, and my younger son started first grade. Wow. Oh, boy, what a range there. That's kind of interesting, Alan. All right, well, good luck to all of you. We will continue the round until time is up, and then the two players with the highest scores will join Arthel in the speaker circle and face off for that very big check. So put those hands back on those buttons. Here we go. According to a Bloomberg poll, how do people grocery shop? From a list or on impulse? First in this time is Scott. On impulse. On impulse. And Daniel, you love to challenge. You say? On a list. On a list. Well, you know what? 59% say on a list. Another $100 goes to Daniel. All right, thank you. Yeah. Here we go with that next question. TV Guide Readers Poll asked, what is your favorite news magazine? And did the majority say 2020 or 60 Minutes? First in this time is Alan. 60 minutes. 60 minutes and a challenge from Scott. 2020. You know, I'm kind of surprised at the answer. 59% sele selected 2020. Oh, Alan, $100 goes down there. Two very good shows. Two two-way ties going on this stage. Right now, we have another one. And here is the question. What are most professional athletes more loyal to? Did the majority say their fans or their wallets? Yes, Adam. Their wallets. Their wallets. And Scott says? Their fans. The fans. 91% said wallets. $100 of Scott's money now becomes Adam's money. And Adam just took the lead at $700. We asked, which recently reunited rock group should have kept their costumes in the closet? Did the majority of our group say the village people or KISS? First in this time is Daniel. Kiss. Kiss. And Adam says? The village people. YMCA, but 62% said kiss. $100 from Adam goes down to Daniel. <laughs> when it comes to good grooming, we ask, which is more unnecessary? Did the majority say face shaving or leg shaving? First in this time is Scott. Leg shaving. Anybody want to challenge that? You say, Alan? Face shaving. 57% said leg shaving. Alan, take $100 and give it to our returning champ, Scott. Interesting to see the way these scores are changing as we move on to the next question. According to the people we ask in our studio, who takes a harder pounding, football players or rodeo cowboys? First in is Adam. I'd say football players. And a challenge from Alan. Rodeo cowboys. 66% said Rodeo Cowboys, oh, Adam. Yeah. Give it to Alan. Right. Well, let's see what happens on this next question. According to a bloom... Ooh, that sound means it's time for just one more question. The grand question worth $1,000. Daniel, you have the lead at $700. Second place, Adam with $500. Alan and Scott, you both have $400 players. Your job is to predict which answer will get the most votes from this Majority Rules Studio audience. Audience, are you ready? Yeah! 
Players, are you ready? Yes. Here is the question. Which soon-to-be or newly released video are you most likely to purchase for your family's enjoyment? Twister, Eraser, or Toy Story? Audience, please vote now. Players, lock in the answer you think our Majority Rules audience is giving the most votes. If you're the only one to pick the big vote getter, you alone will earn $1,000. But if more than one player is correct, we'll split the $1,000. Which would you most likely purchase? Twister, Eraser, or Toy Story? 77% of our audience said Toy Story. That is the answer we are looking for. We're going to start with our returning champ, Scott. Did you say Toy Story? You Toy did. Story. Right now, a portion of that $1,000 is yours. Right now, we need to find out how much of that 1000 Alan, you too have $400. For you Toy said Story. Toy Story. Nice job. If nobody else says Toy Story, Alan and Scott would be moving over to the speaker circle face-off. We're going to Adam now. Did you say Toy Story? Yes, I did. You did as well. And Daniel, is it a four-way split? You said Twister. Let's add $350 to everybody up in this row here. Toy Story, Toy Story up on the top, and only to Scott over here. And what we find out is that Adam, you, sir, are going on to the speaker circle face-off. Why don't you move over there right now? Daniel. Sorry to report that you are out of this question. You cannot continue. Stay right there. That $700 is yours. Good luck on the question to Scott and Alan. A TV Guide readers poll asked, who's the sexiest woman on TV? Did the majority say Terry Hatcher or Heather Locklear? Alan, you jumped in first. If you're right, you're moving over. If not, Scott is. Heather Locklear. Heather Locklear is your answer. 61% said Terry Hatcher. Scott, you're joining Adam right over there. Congratulations. Adam, $750 is yours. Thank you very much. Daniel, 700 for you. Thanks for playing. Absolutely. Closer to this money, possibly, because you know what? In my hand is one more question that'll determine which one of you has a chance to win almost $20,000. And Scott has a chance to be the biggest winner on Majority Rules ever if he can get over there and win the money. What is the question? How will they answer? Let's find out when we return with more Majority Rules right after this. <laughs> We asked our players to think of an answer to this question. It is, what is the most romantic gesture? And Adam, since you have the most money coming into this round, you get to choose to go first or second. I will go first. You'll go first. I want to remind both of you guys that each of you will have 15 seconds to convince our audience to vote for your answer. Good luck to both of you. And remember, it's not only what you say, it's how you say it. So, Adam, you're going first. Scott, come with me. What is the most romantic gesture? Start now. I think the most romantic gesture is when you kiss a woman on the hand. You get on a knee, you look her square in the eye, you tell her how much you love her and how beautiful she is, and you take her hand and you kiss her and look her in the eye some more, and uh, hopefully that leads to other things. But uh, right, I think Adam. it's definitely the most Someone romantic. over here with me, Adam. Scott, front and center, Mr. Scott. What is the most romantic gesture? Start now. The most romantic gesture you could possibly do is write a love letter. In a love letter, you could write poetry, you could spell out all your feelings, put it in a card, a piece of paper, whatever, and your significant other can hold on to it and cherish it forever, and they can always refer back to it and relive that moment over and over and over again. When a woman does that to me, it's totally... All right, Scott, come back up here with me, Adam. All right, audience, the power to send one of these gentlemen for a chance to win almost $20,000 is in your hands. So do me a favor and please vote right now for the answer you think deserves to win. Will it be Adam kissing on the hand or Scott writing a love letter? Well, now the results are in and 74% said love letter. Oh, Scott. Come on. Congratulations. All right, Scott. Adam, oh, nice Adam. Shot. Adam, we have some good news for you, Adam, because you did a fantastic job certificate plus the $850 you won in the earlier in the show and you know what on majority rules you can only make two appearances on the show this is Scott's second appearance so you know what Adam 
you're coming back for our next show, guaranteed. Congratulations. All right. right. And you, sir, you've already won uh, a considerable amount of money, about $18,000. Now, you have an opportunity to become the biggest winner ever on Majority Rules if you can line those up correctly and win another big check. So let's head over in that direction. All Come right. on. All right. Meanwhile, keep your fingers crossed for Mr. Scott. The excitement continues on Majority Rules. Don't go away. Scott, between our yesterday's show and uh, today, Mr. Scott has uh, more than $21,000, so we're going to see if he's going to get some more cash today, fat cash. It started when we conducted our own majority rules poll on this question. When all else fails to get you out of that three-day funk, what can always make you happy again? Passion, fashion, or food. Scott, we want you to predict the outcome of the vote by placing those answers on the big check. The percent of votes each answer gets becomes the digit of that check. So, for instance, let's take fashion. It could get 62% of the vote, and if it does, it's worth 62 cents, perhaps, or maybe $62, perhaps even $6,200, depending on where you place it. And, Scott, if you place these items in perfect order from highest to lowest, you will take home that check, plus a bonus of $10,000. Okay. Numbers are locked in our computer data bank. We'd love to see you do it again. Scott, step right. to our left. Is it fashion? Passion or food? After that three-day funk. The audience is shouting it out. Again. Passion, fashion, or food. food. He has passion. Passion, he has food, he has fashion. The audience seems to like that. Let's put it back. That's what you're sticking with. Okay. Okay, well, I can let you know, Scott, that one of those answers got 54% of the vote, another got 23%, and oh the other got 23%. So it's going to be interesting. If you've written a check for $5,423.23, oh, $5, that's the highest possible. That's when we add the $10,000 bonus. But, Arthel, why don't you tell them what that check is worth if those numbers aren't in that order? Zero. Yeah. Zilch. Nothing. Sorry about that. So... <laughs> Last round, you got $2,500. You know the routine. We double it, we offer you a $5,000 check to walk away from the big one, or I take this check, put it back in my pocket, you go for the big one, what are you gonna do? I'm going all the way. He's going all the way. Let's go. Okay. 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 Oh man, uh, you know, I, I don't know about you, Mark, but I'm, I'm nervous. I'm I, nervous I, as well. I well, want we, him to win. Well, we all want him to win here. We generally look at one number, and I know the guys back there, knowing that two of the numbers are 23, are going to show us one of those. So go ahead and do that now. Tease us. All right. Now, we know that a 23 could go there, or a 23 could go there. Now, sometimes food is a passionate thing, but passion, I understand what it means. It could mean what? It could mean sex, love, food, chocolate, okay. anything. Anything. All right. <laughs> so where do you want that 23 to go, Scott? Right there. Right there. Keep your fingers crossed, Arthel. Audience, take a look at those numbers. Oh, yeah! The question I gotta ask you is, what does somebody do with 37,000 they've just won? I'm gonna take a trip. Where are you gonna go? I'm gonna go to Hawaii. Oh, it's right, going to Hawaii. Right. Well, folks, that's what happens at Majority Rules. Anybody can win and everybody can have fun when we play by what? Majority Rules. See you Got soon. Bye-bye. All right. Channel 12 viewers, here's a chance for you at home to win a share of $12,000 from Majority Rules. Find all your $1 bills and play along because you might be a winner. The winning check today was $5,423.23. Four of those numbers have been randomly drawn and placed as the last four digits of today's Burger King Lucky Burger Buck. If your U.S. $1 bill has the last four numbers in the exact same order, you can claim a share of our Lucky Burger Buck $12,000 weekly cash giveaway. And if only the last three digits match, you can exchange your dollar bill for a combo meal from Burger King. 
food awards must be claimed within 24 hours. And don't worry, that letter at the end of your serial number, it doesn't matter. Just bring your lucky dollar bill to any participating Burger King restaurant in the Channel 12 viewing area to learn how to use your dollar to claim your share of 12,000. On our next show, we'll broadcast a brand new set of Lucky Burger Buck numbers. So get down to Burger King for all the rules and keep watching Majority Rules where it pays to play at home. Yeah.